you, you personally pull for guys as you as you get to know them. So how much do you enjoy seeing John Carlo have that moment right there? Yeah, um, yeah, really excited for him. Uh, I know how hard he works, um, and you know, on a really cool night where uh, it just kind of looked like a ho hum, going to be one of those where we don't really, we just kind of hang around enough, and then Gary gets a huge one, and then John Carlo to finish it off with. I mean, <laughs> that ball was killed, but yeah, I'm just, yeah, really excited for him, just knowing <clears throat> how hard he works and and all that he's been in that room since he's been here and and um, what he means to all the guys in that room uh, is really cool. I mean, as you mentioned, it was a five nothing hole. How much differently does it feel being in a five nothing hole with this team compared to some others you've either you know, been on or been around. Yeah, better. Feels better. Uh, <laughs> yeah, we always feel like we got a chance. And I, I, I thought, I thought up and down, we had some pretty good at bats tonight. Even when we hadn't scored yet, I thought, you know, we hit, we hit some balls hard. Um, you know, had some traffic out there. We're getting some hits, getting some guys on, and and a couple big ones to get us back in. But um, yeah, I always feel like, you know, we're just couple of good things away from really having a chance all the way through our lineup. Mark to the right. Aaron, do you buy into this idea that, you know, a player with the kind of stature that Stanton has kind of needs to have sort of that moment <laughs> as a Yankee? Like, I mean, it gets talked about a lot, but what, do you buy into that at all? I'm not disqualified. Right. Yeah. Um, this, was a gr this was a good one. This is a good one where, you know, again, it looks like you're it's going to be a whole hum, go down to defeat. You know, you're just try trying to piece it together from a bullpen standpoint, and the guys just kind of hang around. And um, so maybe when we look back on the year, you know, this will be a pointing, the, something they point to, um, certainly for Giancarlo, a guy of his stature. Um, but but I don't get that much into that. That's I'll, I'll let you guys define that. Susan and, and in that eighth inning, how good was it? Glaber gets the walk, and then Sanchez, who you kept saying is going to get out of it any second now. Yeah, I mean, a, a great at bat by Glaber there, and then <laughs> I, I joked with Gary after I said, "All right, from now on, we just you come to my office before before uh, before the game. I'm going to whack you in the in the tricep with with a bat or something. <laughs> just need need a little pain. He got smoked pretty good in the in the arm, so hopefully he's all right." Um, <laughs> and Timmy came down to me after an inning of kind of dealing with Gary and checking him and everything, said, I think he's good enough to swing his next at bat. <laughs> and uh, I, I think he was. Um, look, Gary's, Gary's always, to me, so close. And even through his struggles, I feel like he's never been that far off. Smokes a couple balls last night, smokes a ball tonight early in the game. Um, and then, and then a high heater. Really excited, you know. Really excited for Gary too, because I know he's been, you know, pressing a lot and wanting to do well and putting in a, a lot of the work. So um, excited for two of our big boys to really um, deliver in a big way tonight. Dave to the left. Yeah, and I think the word "killed" was a pretty good description of that home run. But have you hit? Have you ever seen any home runs hit much harder than that? I mean, that got out of here pretty quick. Yeah. Um, I, you know, I thought the ball he hit in uh, Toronto to left, maybe because of my view, I, I, I defined it as maybe the hardest ball I've ever seen hit. Only to have Gary top it with a line out to left, and then. <laughs> I don't know what it ended up being, but that ball was absolutely scalded. When you hit a line drive, that's a base hit to center for me. Um, Giancarlo hits it and starts celebrating at home plate, knowing it's going to be off of something hard out beyond center field. He's just, uh, he's a different animal. <laughs> uh, in the back right and then right here. What did Jonathan Holder mean to this victory, and what has Jonathan Holder meant to your bullpen? He's been terrific. He's been, um, he's earned, he's earned everything he's gotten this year, you know, from making our team to getting sent down, 
you know, to kind of being one of the last guys in the pen now to more and more earning higher leveraged opportunities. Tonight we needed them just, just because we needed them because we needed the length and we needed them to hold the lead and we pushed them probably a little more than we normally do just because we needed the innings out of them. Um, I felt like he was even tired his last couple of hitters. I felt like he was maybe a little bit gassed and he just continues to make pitches anyway. Um, he he's he really competes well. I, I turned to Larry with about two hitters left when we got we got Rocket up there um, when he got when he's getting up in the high twenties and I'm just like because I felt like he was tired, but he just competes really well and has the ability to pound the strike zone. So, um, he, like so many guys on our team that maybe you didn't account for going in, he's been a huge factor in us winning ball games this year. Back to the left. What have you seen from Shreve recently that's kind of led him in this little funk that he's been on? Yeah. Um, I, I think sometimes he just loses the zone, you know, the, um, we'll, we'll see hitters where he's strong, where he's getting ahead, where, the, where he establishes his fastball, then he can really play his split up. But we've also seen some where he's, you know, 2-0, getting behind and then not getting the chase with the split that, that he needs to get when he's ahead in the count especially. So um, just a little bit of falling behind too much is all. Ryan, to the right. It was a while ago now, or feels like it, but what did you see from uh, Los Siaga tonight, Aaron? Um, I thought I thought the Mariners had pretty disciplined at-bats against him. I thought when he had chances to, first of all, he gets off to a little bit of a tough start with the two infield hits to get going. So right away, he was his pitch count the first couple innings was an issue. You know, he had to work really hard. And I felt like when he got ahead, uh, when he tried to put guys away, um, you know, probably pitches that down in double A, maybe guys swing at. But just I think he's got to do a little bit better job of just making it look like a strike when he's going for the chase pitch. And I thought just too often – it was a little bit out of the hand of ball, and these guys up here are going to recognize that. So that lent itself, even when he was ahead in the count, to, to getting a lot of deep counts. Go ahead, Rock. Last one. And um, after Loisica uh, left the game, yeah, there we go. Second time's the charm. Yeah. Um, is this the kind of game where that depth in the bullpen really shows itself and can help when you're down, but you have guys who can keep it right there without maybe using all your tippy-top elite guys and come back in a game like this? <sighs> Absolutely. I mean, with our offense, I mean, look, a bullpen in today's game is obviously so important, but with our team um, and our ability to strike when it seems like we're down, you know, having a great bullpen to hold, hold it there or obviously preserve leads when we have them is huge and, and a big in a way, a big way of how we're built. Okay, thank you, Aaron.